Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you a really cool thing. Uh, in my project, I, I turn a, a, a old switch in to the old word switch into a internet control able. So I have three button on this. And this is nothing. I bought that for two dollar. It's that just press and put and press and right now and nothing work because I didn't a uh, turn on my power. So I just introduce. So we have a three button that we can manually to turn on or off a two three device. For example, we want to turn on a bedroom, a garage, or a dining room something like that and we also want to it able to control via internet so here is how it works right now i'm going to to turn on the power and we can see in action i on my desktop you can see in that is a, a pcb i design it using free sign free thing software i did this and i also made that PCB and we can see I, I will do show you clouder in the next time so we have a power it is for EIP okay so let's guess what I want to turn and here is my firebase database and we can see I right now I have a I use my username creates I am also logged in with my account okay my account here my account and you can check my other video and to see how we deploy a firebase and upload a I don't know code and a web application okay so now it's time to show I want to turn it up a my power and now you can see now this is we wait for the device to turn on for about four or five seconds and now you can see it's my my device ready and start and when it's it start and also register a microcontroller with chip ID you can see take our my video and see how this work and so now I will show you and we can see on a on this web page we also have a for, for example I can change a a light one light two and light three and it's been two four three button and so get back to home and now you can see and I want to press a button. This is manually pushed. And right now we have a config that with Firebase. You can see a right. I have a connect a one light from my bulb into that output. And you can use a three bulb for three device. But for the telling, I want to use just one only. So let me press a button. You can see a now I will press a middle button. Now you can see that work. And you can see it we have also manually to turn on our, our, our device. And this can be worked with our Wi-Fi or, or internet. That means we need really cool. And you can also check our my on my that top you can see the light too is on and now I want to set it up by press second again okay you can see it up and now in check out your web path I leave that and I can control via internet you can see that I press light to on now it's on and press light on up it should be up really cool and so we also uh, in other my video we also set a schedule and that means we have automation to add for job 
for example, I want to add a job by a turn on light to next minute. From next minute, it should be like that. A, so we have a second, a zero, one, and now add new device, like save that. Okay, sorry, we should be saved that before. Okay, and and so turn on light to make me this. Okay, so and save that. And we want to turn on. Right now it's up. Okay, so so get back to home pay and we wait for one minute later. And right now it's up and I don't took on it anymore. So it should be on in eight minutes. Okay, we should wait for it's on. You can see it should on right now. It's already on. Okay, that works. And you can change it. Say uh, you can set it on up and your schedule time such as a uh, on at say uh, night time and up a uh, with day time like that. Okay. So one again, I we can put that up. Now I want to put it up. Now as you can see it's up. Okay, that worked really cool. So I will turn off my power and show you my PCB in Clouder. So let's turn off switch and this is safely. And unplug my power. Now I want to show you a to Clouder. A, this is how it works. So you can see a that is just a push button. I borrowed that for two dollar from my my old switch it does like a bell switch it should be bell switch and it's like a button you can see it's a button with three channel and that's my PCB okay I made that you can see it's my a power we it's a with three a point three volt and with three TR BTA and MLC and let me show you in a bottom okay this bottom dash a ESP single ESP and but very small you can see that let me show you in clearer okay so that work and okay so I will show you a really really another cool thing uh, so let's get started let's try me okay I will show you in that we how to set up a Wi-Fi and set up a Firebase configuration okay turn let's make sure and I will verify okay so that work okay so now we have plug to power and be careful do not choke on any part of the PCB and I press one it's on and press one and up oh, okay so now I want to show you how do I config a Firebase connect and Wi-Fi connect and let's took as my desktop I want to now let me go to power setting and I want to remove a a so by default I set a firebase cigarette key in my software 
and also I will skip several carry that means if we check a firebase connect a four three times if we cannot connect to firebase it will be skip server connect and never connect to server and so that means I want to remove that and I want to add another key and remove a current key and that means now my switch could not connect to Wi-Fi okay so let me copy that and keep it surface keep surface and do not send this key to anyone okay and get back to our database and now let me show you in microcontroller if I turn a push on and now you can see in node we don't see any change for example I want to push on put up push on and put up and you can see right now you don't have an, a server connection because we have removed a security key and so now how do we config that okay so I will press a one up zone button you can press here press here press here and here and now I press a button for five seconds I did set a if you push and keep it push and hold this a for five seconds now you can see the light on and up that means a, a my microcontroller it goes to to set up more now I can remove that and also remove that for you can see in next time and let's take a, a Wi-Fi now a while when the microcontroller it go to setup mode you can see a Wi-Fi address it orders uh, available a uh, Wi-Fi name and password I will connect that and that's mean a uh, my computer a uh, now connect to ESP and with this connect to Wi-Fi yes. okay so let browser to IP address a for other one and hit enter now this we have a setup mode web page now click on to setup and here is my Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi password okay so let's copy that key and remove a O key and make sure we have the same Firebase database URL let's save that okay save that okay so the condition torch has been saved connecting to network we can able to cloud that and now we wait for next time for the microcontroller is automatically connected to Firebase so okay you can see now um, I con it's my computer it automatically connect to my Wi-Fi network and so you can see a microcontroller is able to connect to Wi-Fi and with new Firebase key we just config and now you can check that now I will press a button you can see a status will be changed on spot server and device press one and you can see a a device this device ID and pin is set on and also you can check see the light on and now I want to turn it up okay so you can see it up and so I will okay it's auto max and oh, right. and let's turn it on you can see in my web page is on and let's turn it up and you can see it up and we also change on and should be on and up it should be up okay that worked very cool okay thanks for watching and see you next time bye for now